Hi, I'm Greg. I'm here with the guys from AYP, and we're going to walk you through the changes in iOS 8. First thing you see is the keyboard is new. It works differently, so if you're typing, it will give you recommendations. It'll learn how you type for that person specifically. So if you're typing to your boss, it's not going to come up with you know slang words. It's probably going to come up with more professional words if that's how you speak to your boss. But if you're speaking to your buddy, then it's going to come up with those slang words that you like to use with that person. So some of the other cool features in the messaging app is the new camera feature. So you can actually just tap on the camera icon and drag over and you can record video. Or you can go up and just take a quick snapshot. So you get a much better view of, um, of the, the image itself. And you can do the same actually with audio clips. You can send quick audio clips. One awesome feature with the user interface is the ability to access your favorites very easily. So all you'll do is double tap on the home button to get to your app switcher. And you can actually see all of your favorites right up here at the top. So you can actually then tap, tap it and select which method you want to get in touch with them with. And that just allows you to easily access your favorites and it's really animated and smooth. That's another thing I have to say about iOS 8 is it's extremely fluid. It really is a beautiful refinement of iOS 7. With battery life on iOS 8 it seems to be much better, um, but one area where you can actually improve that is to go into your settings, go to general, go to background app refresh, and turn keep the, the feature on, but turn off the ones you're not going to want running in the background. You know, things like you know, Instagram, Facebook specifically, maps apps, music apps, things that you're going to want to possibly use in the background at some point, don't turn them off because then you'll have trouble doing so and you'll have to take some extra steps when you want to do it. So I'd recommend keeping the maps apps and uh, music apps and stuff like that. Keep those on, but really turn off the, the other stuff that you don't need notifications for constantly. So this has been our quick review of some new features on iOS 8. Tune in next time on AYP for our next review. Be sure to subscribe now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.